sunny November. Episode 14 It can't be true. Diamonds. How did they get into our house? Oh God, my God, how long have they been here? Well, now we're rich, so. Kirilo, I don't understand. Please explain one more time. I couldn't sell a single painting. How come? It's mom. Yes. Wait, not so fast. Please say it again. What is it? Good news? Very good news. Great news, Natalia. We've got the money. Great. What? Nina. Remember how you said only miracle could save you? Well, the miracle has happened. We found the money. Do you hear? Kiss me. What's with the vitals? Everything's fine. Hang in there, sis. Heart rate? You can do it. Great. We be one blood, thou and I. You need to get some air. Don't worry, Nina is strong. She can handle it, you'll see. From your mouth to God's ears, Larissa. I'll get you water. Okay. How did it go, doctor? Everything was normal, no complications. How does she feel? We'll find out tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, you should go home. You won't be seeing her today. How is Nina? Hash, hash, he said she's fine. Mom, she's fine. Mitro, I'll go to my parents. Come on, let's go. Everything is fine. Oh, God. If someone told me, I'd never believe it. Yes, not many people find treasures in their houses. It's strange that even Dad didn't know about it. It isn't strange. We both know how secretive your grandma was. Right. Thanks. Well, how are you feeling? Better. 
Do you know that her will leaves everything to her great-granddaughter? Oh, it's not fair to Kirilo. My grandma was one of Kiv's first feminists. She even organized a women's club where she explained their rights and encouraged them to fight for them. I remember. Your dad told me. Maybe that's why she preferred girls to boys. My gran was a quirky woman. That's true. Volodymyr. You're not going to give everything that is left after Nina's treatment to Larissa? We have two daughters, and we'll divide it equally. What else can we do? Yes. Here. Thanks. Nina. Nina. I'm sorry I woke you up. I'm here to say goodbye. So soon. Yes, time to go home. Okay. You hang in there. And thank you. Why thank me? I know it sounds weird. But if it weren't for your disease, I would just be in and out of jail all my life. But I helped you. And now I have a goal. I want to come out as soon as possible and marry Sonia. She is underage? I know that, but when I get released, she'll be 18, or even older, depends on my behavior. Are you in love with her? I don't know. I mean, when I first saw her, she was so small, so thin, someone has to take care of her, she's all alone in this world. Okay, I didn't mean to overshare. So, tell your Kirilo I said hi and thank you for saving Sonia anyway. He's okay. I guess. Right, he's okay. What else? Oh, you should eat more. Mom says you refuse to eat. Not anymore. It was before the surgery. Now I'm fine. That's good. You're getting better. I hope. There's a lot of tests to be done. Come on, don't worry, you'll be fine. Too bad I can't be at your and Kirilo's wedding. Okay. Bye. Kolya. Yes. You're a great brother. I'm proud of you. You get well soon. It's a nice day. Do you miss prison? Your carriage is here. Come on. Can I have a minute with Kolya? 
Yes, but it has to be one minute. We need to go. Thanks, boss. Why didn't you stop by? I did. But you were at your procedures. I couldn't wait. Not my call. Here, to remember me by. Take care of yourself, okay? If someone hurts you at the orphanage, just tell me. I'll take care of it. Do you have my address? Will you write to me? Yes. Why do you want him? He's a criminal. So what? He'll clean up his act. Not everybody who is in jail is a bad person. Some were set up. You know all those stories online. Maybe some were set up, but definitely not Raisin. That's true, boss. But she's right. To, I will clean up my act, I'll promise. You're a good girl, Sonia, stay healthy. Central Psychiatric Hospital. MTS, Sarko. Here, I'm sorry. The Medical Committee's report, your copy. When are they taking her? Tomorrow morning. Doctor. I'm begging you. Let me talk to her. Actually, it's not allowed. Arcady. Yes. Tell the guys to bring Sarko here. In a minute. I never allowed it. Thanks. Thank a lot. My God. Baby, Xena. Mommy, what did they do to you? Who knew it will end up like this? I tried to stop you, but you put yourself in this horrible situation. Yes, mother, I am mentally disturbed. My soul is damaged because of love, but I'm not crazy. Mom, I'm not crazy. Please don't tell me that I am. I'm not crazy. Hush, wait, you know, it's easier for me to think that you're crazy. How else can I explain that my little girl, the one I used to cherish, has committed all these horrible crimes, my darling? Mom, my only crime is my love for Kirilo. Mom, I love him, that's all. Mom, I didn't kill or hurt anyone. I didn't steal anything, why do they blame me? Hush, wait, baby, baby. It's not love, don't you understand? It's not love, when you love someone, you don't get angry. You don't ruin anything, Oksana. How do you know? Have you ever loved anyone? Tell me. Okay, okay, baby, please relax. Oksana, listen to me, okay? I'm begging you. Don't do anything stupid. Okay, try to get better. Maybe they'll let you out. Okay, please, please, baby. Take me away. I hate you. I hate you. Go away. Kill her. <laughs> One month later. This looks awful. Did you make it yourself? 
What do you mean? I spent an hour doing this. You don't like it. I'm kidding. It looks great. I didn't know you were such an Ikebana sensei. Come on. Mitro. What's going to happen now? What do you mean? I don't know, Nina, Kirilo, you, me. Do you still love her? Why should it change? Then, I believe, it's time for me to go back to the US. Why? Don't you like it here? You don't understand. Do you? What's good about unrequited love? I think love is always good. It's worse when you have none. That's just words, pretty, empty words. And the truth is that I need to forget you. Lara, wait. Are you going to pack your bags already? Or will you come to the party after all? I'll think about it. Congratulations, Nina, give me the bag. Baby. Here, be happy and always, always stay healthy. Thank you, thank you. I love you guys so much. Thanks. Doctor, maybe you could join us, even if for one hour, I'd be very happy. I'll try, but no promises. You know how busy we are at the clinic. Yes, but I still hope to see you there. This is for you. Thanks. Can I hug you? Thanks. Thank you for everything, so... Yes. Yes. Giddy up. Let's go. Thanks. Get in. Can you let me go? It hurts, and I don't like it. Please. I don't want to go in. Please let me go. I'll behave. Will you? Well, in this case, you won't have any problems here. We here approve those who behave. Just listen to me, and you'll be fine. I don't want to go in. You never like makeup. You said it looked too flashy. What happened? I was stupid. I think this is a bit overboard. I don't care. When you're ill, you start seeing things differently. I didn't understand Sonia using lipstick. But now it's sank in. She had been there much longer than I. This pale skin, dark circles under your eyes. Not to mention your hair falling out, and I want to be striking. You are striking. I'm not used to this new you, that's all. Really? Really. We'll be late. We'll be late. So what? It's time. Start singing. Singing. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nina. Happy birthday to you. My dear all, I love you so much. Thank you. I'm happy. I really feel like born again. I love you guys. You're so beautiful. I love you. Nina. Tanya. Welcome back. Happy second birthday. God, I missed you so much. Me too. Is it inimitable or inimitable? Guys, who knows how to spell inimitable? What do you care? Better tell us who you're writing to. Baldi, you're an educated man. How do you spell in immutable? You think I remember? I think it's I and I am, I guess. Might be I and I am. Listen, did they give you this bunny at the hospital or what? Didn't you hear me? Put it back and never touch it again. Got it. It's a present. Okay. Okay. Oh, little bunnies. Hey, Baldy. How about a game of cards? No prob, just have it in mind I have no cigs. Or money. We'll play for love. What do you mean? Have you decided what you're going to do with your half of the inheritance? Yes. You don't want to talk about it. No, not exactly, but... Just don't think I have claims on it. Okay. I just don't want to say yet. Okay. If you don't want to talk about money, let's talk about Mitro. Have you decided about him? He still loves you. I don't think he does. If you could only hear him talking about you day and night. He's obsessed. Listen, Mitro and I are friends. I'm sure he'll realize it soon enough. I doubt it. Do you love him so much? Nina, I'm going back to the States. What? Is that what you want? No, but what else can I do? Stay, for one. And watch him obsessing about you. No, thanks. You know, I think he will be against you leaving. Sure. Where will he find a better PR manager? Nothing personal. Strictly business. It's not business. I've got to know him a little. And, you know, Mitro's love for me is a habit. What do you mean? He is a romantic. Romantics tend to exaggerate their feelings. In reality, we aren't a good match. 
What makes you think that? Because I'm like that, too. Do romantics don't make a strong couple? What about Kirillo? Isn't he a romantic? Kirillo? Is Kirillo? Happy birthday, sis! Are you ready? Have you made a wish? Yes. Well, let's set our wishes free. Okay. How beautiful. Baby, be happy. I will, mom. Come on, sail. So, parents, when is your wedding? What about yours? Kids, set a date. Mom and I will work around it. Yes. We could make it a double wedding. What do you think? We don't mind. Neither do we. Good. Can I talk to you? What about... Work right. Have you booked your flight? Tomorrow. Don't go. I'm flattered that you appreciate my work so much. I don't want to leave the Dream Lagoon. Either, but I'll have to go anyway. Are you sure you don't want to try and start over? Only because things didn't work for you with Nina. No, Dmitro. I don't want to be your plan B. I'm not a fan of being someone's second choice. Listen, I've been thinking. And I believe that it could work for us with time. Not good enough. So, what do I have to do to make you stay? I love you so much. I love you, too. Do you really? Yes. So the city council refused to finance our fund, right? Five years later. My dear Mrs. Petrovsky, it's not that simple. The council didn't deny financing. The issue had been postponed. That's all. Can I ask for how long? Around six months, right. Six months? Yes. Half a year? Yes. Do you realize that sometimes a delay can be fatal? I think you do. Mrs. Petrovsky, of course we understand that, but at present the city council has different priorities. Like what? Building just another mall or luxury-gated community. You know, I understand why it's going on. 
Because if, God forbid, one of the councilmen's children gets sick, they'll, of course, send them abroad to get treatment. That's why they think it appropriate. To postpone, as you put it, the blood bank construction and to vote for other projects at your meetings. My dear Mrs. Petrovsky, you have to understand that it's not a responsibility. We were just asked to pass the information to you. What can you have against me and Yakiv, Mrs. Petrovsky? Of course. You know, if I thought that most things are not my responsibility, our city still wouldn't have a good children's hospital. We highly appreciate your past achievements and your ambi ambitious, ambitious plans, yes, for the future. However, unfortunately, at present we can't do anything for you. Yes, we're sorry. Vitaly, we should get going. Yes, yes, it's time. Goodbye. By the way, the marshmallows are good. Oh, you haven't even tasted them. Why don't you grab some with you? Diabetes. Have a good day, Nina. You too. Kirillo has called a few times. Here, your phone is turned off. Thanks. Hush, hush, baby, come on, what's wrong? Hush, hush, now, now, don't cry, my darling, don't cry. When will you be back, Nina? I have to stop by at the hospital. A pipe has burst. And the communal services don't take their calls. Just like you. I'm sorry. I was in an important meeting. Are you guys okay? Depends on the point of view here. Two hours in a row. Have you checked? Maybe it's her stomach. She doesn't have fever, but it might be her tummy. She doesn't like how I steam her veggies. Now, now, now. Sugar bunny, hush, hush, come here, wait a sec. Hush, hush, darling, listen. I need to be at the gallery today. They called three times. I have to go there. Okay, then, call the babysitter. Lisa, right? Love you guys. Okay, bye. How are you feeling? Okay. When was your last checkup? Last month. Sonia, I'm fine. Listen, maybe don't go to the hospital today. Stay at home with your family. No, I can't. They're waiting for me. What do I have tomorrow? Tomorrow. A meeting with the Swiss doctors at 10. At noon. A TV interview. 2 p.m. Lunch with the mayor. Then a visit to the hospice. Cancel the lunch. You're not going. What about the blood bank financing? The city council isn't going to finance it. What? After all the meetings and negotiations? Don't worry. We'll get by. Give my love to Kolya. Bye. Yeehaw again. Larissa Lomakin wins again with a whopping score of 6 4. Lomakin, how about a handshake? No chance. 
That's the tradition. What's wrong with him? Larry, sir, you are good, of course. But of course the guy is frustrated. Losing three times in a row, I'd be mad too. Is it my fault that I'm better than him? Come on, it's just tennis? It's not just tennis. You're better than me in everything, everything, freaking winner. You should be proud of me. Why can't I do that? Why? Well, I believe you lack my knowledge, skills, dedication. Seriously? Just kidding, relax. Do you want to hear the news? Dad wants you to take over the hotel. He says you'll manage it better than I do. What's funny? Nothing. It's just that I refuse his offer. Wait. There has been no offer yet. Great. There has been no offer, but I've already refused it. Do you feel better? Why are you always mocking me? Because I like it when you're pouting. You look even more handsome then. Come on. Hi. Hi. I've washed Kira's clothes. Her pureed fruits are in the fridge. Anything else? No, thanks. That's it for today. She is such a little sunshine. Lisa, can you come tomorrow at 8.30 a.m.? Tomorrow? I'm sorry. I can't. I have a driving test. How about tomorrow night? Tomorrow night? My husband and I have certain problems and a lot of work to do. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks. Take care. Mitro, look. Kira Lo has sent new photos of Kira. <laughs> She's cute. <laughs> So funny. What's wrong? Nothing. Well. Baby. We'll have one of our own, I promise. When? What do you mean? The doctor said we needed to do a full checkup. It takes time. What if we can't? What do you mean? If we can't get pregnant after that, then what? Let's not blow it out of proportion. I just feel that I'm infertile and... I'll never get to have kids. Will you leave me now? Are you out of your mind, okay? I will never leave you. I just want to give you a son so much. Well, then you will. Larissa Petrovska always gets what she wants. It's low making, huh? Hi. Hi. How is my baby? Asleep. 
asleep. Champagne. What? Do you want champagne? No, tomorrow is a long day. Sure. Another long day. Hmm? No, nothing. Kirlo, what are your plans for tomorrow? Meeting with Merit in the morning. We need to talk about the Paris opening. I can be with Kira after that. My exhibition at the Modern Arts Center opens at 7, obviously. I have to be there. Is it opening already? Yes. Will you be there? I have to be at the hospice at that time. I'm sorry, I really can't. It's okay. It will be there for a month. You have plenty of chances to see it. You see, it's that kid, Pavlo, remember, I told you about him. He asked me to buy a bracelet for the girl he likes. I promised him I'd bring it tomorrow. I see. I didn't know which one he'd prefer, so I bought six. I hope he'll like one of them. Listen, I'm meeting Swiss doctors tomorrow morning. Could you please ask Merit to come see you here tomorrow? Kirilo. Morning. Why aren't you working? Good morning, Nina. I wanted to see you. Hi. You know, we've made extra effort and found some funding. We're prepared to invest into your blood bank. It's not mine, though it's for everyone. Yes, of course, but there is a condition, or rather, a request. If you can meet it, we'll be able to help children together. Children are our future. I'm listening. Sleep, my darling, go to sleep, yes. Kirillo, just look at this huge space, you see it? But there will be, hush, more people than ever. You see, it's not some country bumpkins, it's Paris, Paris, Paris. So we need to think through the concept, you need to decide what you're going to show. What is our goal? What is it? To sell as many as we can. If we do everything right, you will get your money. And I'll get my commission, got it? Yes. So let's try and figure it out now. Excuse me for a second. Kirillo. Kirillo, listen, I can't do this. Sit down, hush, hush. I can't discuss business in such conditions. Can you do something about it? Like what? Concentrate. I don't know. Put her in her bed in her room. Don't babies need to sleep a lot at this age? Anyway, where is the mother of this beautiful baby? She's also discussing business. Hush, darling. Excuse me, I need to change Kira's diaper. Give me a sec. Kira, your dad is such a gifted artist. But it will all go down there. Hold this, hold it. Diaper. 
Hush, hush, sugar bunny. And you said no. Of course I said no. I hate Chernyshevsky and his company. Besides, I can't compromise on my principles. What principles, Nina? Never, under no circumstances, get involved in politics. We are an engo. If I do it, I will be betraying myself. And now you're betraying everyone who is fighting their disease. Everyone who lives in the hope that we'll get this blood bank constructed. Okay, go. I'll think about it. Think hard. I'm glad the opening is over. I think it went well. I'd love to stay. Do you want to go back? No, you're tired. You need to relax. I understand. <laughs>